hello there welcome back to one more video on the linux series so this video we will cover how to install a ssl certificate generated by let's encrypt let's encrypt is nothing but a, a not for profit uh, certificate authority and in previous videos in this series we saw how to uh, generate a self signed certificate and uh, how ssl works and all those concepts in the previous videos we have completely explained uh, everything uh, in step by step to generate the certificate, generate the CSR, uh, generate the keys uh, and how to deal with an external vendor like Komodo or other companies. Uh, so this one we will focus on Let's Encrypt. Now let's take a look at uh, something called uh, Let's Encrypt. Let's Encrypt is a non-profit uh, certificate authority and uh, they provide us free SSL certificate. Uh, there is a time limit, I believe currently it is 3 months, every 3 months we need to uh, auto renew them. There is a manual way of doing it as well, basically same process, we need to create a certificate request, uh, upload it, get the new uh, certificate and then uh, we also need to modify the records from our domain service provider like the DNS records in GoDaddy or Cloudflare or wherever you have it. Uh, but this is all little difficult. Uh, so we are going to use something called as CertBot. Uh, so CertBot is nothing but an application which will help you to auto manage all these processes. It, it will be very quick and very easy. It will also do uh, auto renewal as well. But there is a catch. CertBot is not present in the default repos. Like if I check uh, DNF repo list. So there are currently three repo lists we have. Like uh, we, we don't, we didn't see the full uh, ID. But basically there are like uh, three repo lists from Alman Linux and blah blah blah. So these are all the repo lists which is maintained by the uh, uh, providers itself. Uh, but there will be some like Red Hat or uh, Ubuntu or those kind of uh, people. Uh, but there is one more repository which is uh, same like DNF called as Snap. So only using Snap you will be able to uh, install CertBot because that CertBot application is present in the Snap Package Manager, not in the DNF Package Manager. So we need Snap. Uh, you cannot just like that install Snap. If, if you try to install, let's say DNF Search, uh, DNF RM, but I always use DNF, DNF Search uh, Snap, you will not find the Snap. You find something called snappy, blah, 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 but you don't find snap. Reason is snap is present in a separate uh, repository. So how do you know that repository? That repository is called as EPEL repository. It's nothing but extra package for enterprise Linux repository. First, you need that first. And then you will you will be able to install Snap. Yes, currently we searched for Snap, we did not uh, find that. So first, let us search for EPEL extra packages for enterprise Linux release. Let's find if it is available. It is available. So you see, it's extra packages for enterprise Linux repository. So it's a configuration. So basically, what we are doing is. Uh, there is a package manager same like DNF or M. There is something called snap. First, you need to get that snap itself first. And then after you get it from there, you need to install certbot. And that certbot will help you to uh, work with Let's Encrypt. So it's like using one package manager to install another one. So without further ado, DNF install extra package for enterprise Linux release. Uh, let's say it's 14 KB. Yes, and let it get installed first. Now let us search for DNF search snap. Uh, extra packages is now uh, getting um, added, I believe. I don't know what's happening there, but something is being uh, done here. There we go. So now earlier when we checked, we found only uh, this two, right? Snappy, snappy. But now you could see that there are so many snap, 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 snap. But what we need is this snap D. This, whoa, 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 what's happening? What's happening? This snap D is nothing but another package manager, same like DNF. So we use DNF and then we activate the EPEL release. And from there we install snap D. 
So one package manager used to install another package manager. So now we have snapd but whether snap is working or not. So let us check a snap. Uh, snap is kind of like a service. So you need to first enable the snap using system control enable um, enable snap d dot socket it's not a service it's something a socket so system control start snap d dot socket so now snap d should be there let us check the status system control status of snap d dot socket now snap d the snappy daemon is uh, active and it is also running so now we can be so sure that it will be able to uh, we will be able to install whatever we need from the uh, snap store or snap bot now install core snap uh, install core which will install the snap core and uh, let it first install basically setting up snap now after this is installed uh, let us refresh the core okay so there is no update so snap uh, install classic cert bot okay so it says that you cannot install cert bot because it requires a folder uh, basically it's expecting some symbolic link and this link should be present in snap it should be directing to library snapd okay let us do the same thing now let me go to the main page uh, the home page and then see we'll do whatever it is asking me to do it's expecting me uh, expecting a symbolic link uh, by the name uh, snap right uh, if you remember how a link works if i give link help uh, um, uh, sorry manual link so it's basically you need to start with the target where you need it and then you need to give a link name so what is the name that you need so the name comes last so here the name is under uh, backslash snap, uh, backslash snap so let us create a link which is a symbolic link so yes and uh, we have already covered this when we were creating multiple uh, websites in same server and uh, point to snap d snap create a symbolic link here so if i list it with l i should find something called snap which is a symbolic link you could see that it is l which is, whenever you open it it will directly open this one so let's clear the screen now let us try to install snap install classic cert bot okay it's installing and uh, let us wait and see how it goes okay cert bot is installed let us check if cert bot uh, version is available what version so cert bot is not a command What it says is uh, the cert bot is not a command which is available usually all the commands that we are using here right that will be present in uh, the user bin so the bin is the place where all the commands will be found but if you are installing something from dnf or m it will be automatically created but in our case we are trying to use a different package manager first let us go to the user bin uh, it will be present in user bin and list here all these are the commands which are available to me like i can type gpig i can try uh, g password blah blah, blah 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 but i don't have cert bot why i don't have cert bot because cert bot is not um, a traditional application which i installed from dnf but instead i installed it from a different place where did i install it from i installed it from snap where is snap the snap is here and i already have created a symbolic link so if i open snap it will open me and show me cert bot is present here so cert bot whichever is present here is the 
actual command uh, prompt or the command the, the application that i need so there is one way we will create a symbolic link of this command inside our usual user bin so that what happens when i try to uh, inside my user bin if it is present then application that command is available to me from the bash terminal so let us try to create a link which is symbolic and from snap the target from snap bin i have something called search bot now create a symbolic link of this inside my user bin with the same name so now let me go back uh, clear and then cd uh, let's try user bin and here if i list and go up i should be able to see cert bot now you see here 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 cert bot is present but you could see that it is a symbolic i don't have to go through like this i can directly say that um, list me everything and then uh, grep with uh, cert bot so I have something called cert bot which is actually a link symbolic link which is opening the application when I try cert bot now if I try uh, cert bot and version it should be able to give me the actual version now the command is working so there is a cert bot version 2.6 available so that is fine so now we have cert bot available and start with the test certificate because uh, cert bot itself has a limitation there is a limit of how many certificates you can generate per week or per month something like that uh, so uh, we don't want to risk uh, not being able to not being able to uh, generate a certificate so we can do something called test certificate so cert bot uh, for nginx nginx in case if you are using apache you will be trying uh, double if on apache but since we are in nginx uh, nginx when i give this cert bot will be able to control nginx when i say control nginx it will not control the nginx service itself but in turn it will go into the configuration files which are managed by nginx and then there it will be able to process it for instance here i am going to say give me a test certificate so it's going to ask me to provide an email so it could be anything so let's say support.most and currently there is no such email and then it's asking me did you read the documentation yes of course even though we didn't uh, read it will you be willing to blah 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 share your email with uh, other foundations uh, uh, so that they can market it okay account is registered now now which names would you like to activate the https for now if you see uh, there are three sites uh, which are already available um, because if you remember from the previous videos uh, we set up uh, two one is site2.mouse.events a specific uh, domain that we set up and then another uh, a specific configuration for uh, a subdomain and then we set up mouse start events and www.mouse start events so it's telling us that among the three which are already registered with uh, uh, nginx which are the ones that you need you can select with appropriate numbers separated by commas i will say for one and three give me the certificate okay let's put enter and it's now requesting a certificate for mouse start events and mouse start events and certificates are now deployed to this configuration you see we did not even open this configuration but to this configuration it was successfully installed if you want to test uh, uh, let's do cat of this specific file and let's see what it says now if we could go inside and see so this is where we did the cat um, now what happened is earlier we did not have all these configurations now uh, the server uh, the cert bot itself is what it does is when someone tries to reach mouse start events uh, if you see here without https when someone tries to reach the mouse start events without https return them or redirect them uh, 301 is uh, permanent 301 is not permanent it's temporary uh, redirect them to https so what it says is 
if the request is coming without https as the as the browser to again send the request from http so if you try with http it will automatically convert to https and uh, it's for two websites either it could start with www or it could start directly with mouse start events and it's managed by search bar directly and in those cases this is not valid at all because if this happens it will automatically do this and then what happens here if we go down uh, these things are all fine and uh, if you remember from our previous videos the SSL certificate and key we kept a different one we kept a self-signed certificate and a self-signed key now those two are removed by uh, let's encrypt the third part and now it is keeping a different certificate that's what's happening here now let's do one thing nginx uh, sorry not nginx system control restart nginx so nginx should now be restarted let's uh, open up our uh, browser now we already have https i'm going to press control f5 now it's still there okay let me refresh refresh it's not okay let me try mouse start events okay uh, it's still not propagated so let's do one thing go back to here and then no i understood why because we were using test certificate but that's not our main goal right let's go here and see whether it is coming from nginx or not uh, mouse start events it is http let's try https mouse start events advanced uh, this is something but uh, forget about it few certificate now you could see that uh, even though it is saying that there is not secure and error the reason is we are we tried a test certificate that's the reason it says that it is in staging or testing environment let's certificate so it's recommended that if you are doing test environment always use test so you don't uh, lose the you know the option of generating an actual certificate because there is a limitation every month or every 15 days i do not remember that so it is valid for three months this is a dummy certificate or a test certificate now if you are happy with what's happening you can directly request for a actual certificate now this time we open it up this time let me clear the system and say cert but this time i will directly say no test cert uh, option i will I'm directly saying nginx now here what is the email id support at mouse dot events no such website there yes and no i'm not willing to share my email and uh, give me that for one and three and uh, would you like to attempt and renew uh, okay well, what it asked me is um, you have an existing certificate that's exactly the same attempt to reinstall the certificate or renew and replace the certificate because if you renew and replace there is a ca rate limit so what i am saying is attempt to reinstall this certificate and we have deployed so clear system control restart nginx and if it is successful we go here and refresh press control f5 so that there is no cache anymore well, I believe uh, install certificate didn't work. I mean, to say that uh, um, <laughs> one and three, one and three, and uh, the first attempt, first attempt to reinstall didn't work because it was trying to reinstall the certificate which was already available. So, which is nothing but the test certificate. We need to go for option two. So, renew and replace the certificate. So, renew the certificate and replace a new one. This time, not a test certificate. So, it's trying to renew the certificate. Let's just wait for a minute. Now, it is deployed. Clear the screen. System control. Restart Nginx. Okay, let's check now. Control F5. There we go. Now, we don't find the not secure error anymore and it is now secure and uh, if you go to more information and view certificate now this is from uh, uh, let's encrypt and it is valid for next three months uh, so what is the next step uh, we cannot come back every three months on the specific date and do this right we need to ensure that uh, um, the third part is uh, able to uh, do this by itself so we need to enable the timer 
by default the search bar should already be having a timer and since it is automatically managing it should be able to do that in case you want to check whether the search bar timer is running or not list all the timers inside your uh, computer so that you can do with system control list the timers so this should tell you all the timers that are running in your pc you could see that there is a, a timer called snap dot search bot or renew timer so this timer is running uh, it's running at some uh, specific time it says that it is running every five minutes but you don't have to worry about it right? it's a, as i said in the beginning that there is a certificate limit right like it will not make any problem because only if the certificate is about to expire it will try to renew it otherwise it will not renew that so basically there is a system cron job timer which is running uh, then it will check for the uh, configurations and then renew them if required you can also do one thing to ensure that if it will work or not uh, there is something called as a dry run option which when you try to do uh, it will automatically uh, try to simulate the process uh, usually when you want the actual uh, renewal you will type search bot renew and you press enter but when you do this it will actually try to replace all the certificates with a new one and then you might end up with the problem with the limiter so you try an option called dry run which will simulate it's nothing but a simulation you could see it is a simulation what will happen in reality when it tries to remove say renew like this so it will tell you if it is successful or not so this is the exact process see this is simulated and the renewal is succeeded so this is the exact process that will happen when the certificate really expires and the timer actually is managed to uh, do this renewal process now let us clear the screen uh, there are times when uh, when you directly type nginx it will just list all the websites which are associated with the nginx maybe you want to specifically say the websites or like uh, you want to uh, install um, uh, wildcard certificate all you need to do is uh, search bot uh, instead of calling nginx because the moment you call nginx what happens is it will try to open up nginx configurations and then read only the websites which are available there but in case you have already set up many websites it will return it to you but what i suggest is you can try to uh, create an uh, certificate for a wild create a wild call certificate for your domain it will start with search bar d and then i can say star dot mouse dot events so what what it does is when i do it will try to generate me a certificate which is a wildcard certificate for mouse dot events so let's try that now nah, it's not cert bot it's cert bot star mouse dot events so in this case it is saving it is requesting a certificate and client with currently selected authenticator does not follow combination now okay so it says that we need to do dns challenge to enable the star dot mouse dot events which means dns challenge in the sense it will uh, we need to uh, open our dns records in godaddy or cloudflare or wherever it is and from there we need to ensure that we are the owner of mouse dot events and then it will allow us to generate a wildcard certificate so that we will see in another video not in this one so currently Thank you so much.